Hello and welcome. Western Australia is a huge state, about the same area as the whole of Western Europe. No wonder the travel by aircraft made so much sense in the early days. It was just eight years after the Wright brothers' first powered flight that our first flight took place here. J.J. Hammond flew a Bristol box kite here in 1911. Western Australia had a commercial airline before Qantas was born. Western Australian Airways began on the 5th of December 1921. First World War pilot Norman Greeley realised that aviation could connect all the isolated sediments, particularly to our vast north. His first airfield was on the Esplanade adjacent to Perth City. Those were tough times. 100 years later, Perth's International Airport services international, domestic and fly-in, fly-out workers. In 1962, Gabriel Flamer wrote her thesis, A First History of Perth Airport. She notes that the operations at the Esplanade moved to Maylands in 1924, which eventually proved to be unsuitable. Here is Maylands today. It was in 1938 that the idea of Perth Airport was conceived, and three years later, in 1942, a Royal Australian Air Force airfield at South Guildford was redesigned to meet civil requirements. Here is a photographic history of aircraft that have used Perth Airport from 1944 to 2004. Do you remember seeing any of these aircraft?
Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this presentation, please like, subscribe, and hit the notify bell to encourage more content.